Hey guys, it's L Supersonic Q here, just with a short little video today showing my custom GameCube controller that I recently finished. So, it's red in the front, or kind of more like a dark red, and orange in the back for a really, really nice contrast of colors. And then all the buttons are kind of gold. So, I based the, uh, the color appearance off of Roy's red color palette swap from Smash 4, and I also painted the little um, controller port to match the front as well. So, it was my first custom. I'm planning on doing a couple more. I think this one turned out pretty good. Uh, I just probably won't be doing any more for a while because it was a lot of time, a lot of investment, and uh, it's just too dang cold out to to try and do this. Because one of the, one of the troubles I had is I screwed the back up originally because when I went to put the sealant on, um, just the whole back cracked. I had to order a whole new controller just so I could use the back because. Just after it all cracked, I tried to scrape the paint off and then respray it, but it was just blotching up. It looked terrible, so um, it was a lot of work and stuff. But I learned I learned some mistakes, or learned from my mistakes stuff I would and wouldn't do the same uh, for my next controllers. So just something fun that I did because I play Smash a lot, and you know I'm kind of an, you know, kind of an artist. I am an artist as well, so I kind of wanted my own kind of custom color scheme. You know when I go out and about to play, you know, in public, be like, oh, that's a sick controller, you know, it's like, oh, it's not just a typical gray or purple or anything, so, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, so thanks for watching, that was kind of it, like I said, just wanted to show off this controller, kind of, kind of get a good, good view of the colors, so we got the orange, the red, and then the gold, so, I was really indecisive about whether or not I wanted to put something on the front. I tried some different things, because this is supposed to be, you know, Red Roy. So I, I tried some different things with, like, Fire Emblem logos and Roy, you know, different, running it through different filters on the computer to see what looked cool. And I, I think at the end of the day, I just, I think it looks better just being a, uh, just a standard colored controller without any kind of distractions on the front or anything. So, um, with that said, thanks for watching, guys. I'm L Supersonic Q, and until the next video, Finn.